All right, why, he hello everyone, we're here. We're here to play some Doki Doki today, aren't we? Yeah, we're here. Uh, hello everyone, <laughs> thank you for coming. As always, my Discord link and YouTube are down in the description. I don't post on YouTube often. Yeah. Uh, stream schedule is posted in the Discord if you want it. It changes every week, usually just because of my work and school schedule changes. Alright. So, again, we're playing Doki Doki today. I don't really remember where we left off because uh, I kind of ended a bit earlier than I was expecting to. We're hoping, I believe I didn't finish the day, so what I'm hoping to do is finish the day, then get on to the weekend and do like one day of the weekend or however the weekend works. But we're gonna have the weekend there. So yeah, we're we're gonna do this. Let's let's hop into Doki Doki. Actually I wanted I wanna say a fun little thing. So uh before stream started or like two minutes on the starting soon screen. I went to go get a glass of water and I was walking through the hallway and we have two dogs in our home right now. We're watching one for a friend and we have our foster dog. I'm walking and as I walk past them, they both look at me as if to ask, are we going on another walk? And I look at them and I say, no, we just went on a walk 20 minutes ago. Why are you looking at me? Wagging your tails, ready to go on a walk. Anyway. <laughs> where were we? Uh, I think we just chose to be with Yuri for the weekend, but I'm not sure. I don't know if we've made that choice yet. I don't remember, it's been like a whole week. Oh no, we're right before it. In the end, I think it's up to Enzo to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Enzo, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. I, I'm just turning it down a little bit. It's it's quite loud for me. If you need me to adjust it again, just say. Or he's actually what I'll do. Let's... It's so loud for me. There we go. <laughs> Very well. I'm choosing Yuri, that's not a choice. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm going to go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki. I can already tell you're... I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. Ugh. So, you'll help... Be helping Yuri, then, Enzo? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. 
I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Oh, sorry. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, oh, sorry. Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Enzo? Me? Since when do I have feelings? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. And that's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Don't even try. Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. Uh, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Enzo picked me. And also... Your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kinda surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. One sec. I never know how to position my microphone. It's always a hard thing to do. Monica and I are also taken aback at Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Coming right out, okay. Uh, I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. 
I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. Gonna try something new. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way. Yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my mic set up somewhat conveniently for me. I think that's somewhat better. I just thought that I would have been the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Ah, uh, I suppose that makes sense. But... If you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much e either way. So I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope to manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Damn. I don't know if I missed something. I did not. Don't underestimate yourself, Enzo. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you feel bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult for me to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. B but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extreme tense ex extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. 
I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. Jeez, this is gonna wipe out my voice. I just hope I can make it through the weekend. Nice thing is that my voice usually recovers quick after this, so I think I should be good. Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there is no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Very main character-ish. As you can see, I just posted a trigger warning in chat, so if you could read that. Of course, leave if you're not comfortable with any of the things it says in there, and thank you to the DDLC website for putting an amazing warning on its website that I could simply copy and paste. I added a little to it, but mostly control C, control V. Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, We've even been texting occasionally. Okay. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But, but putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard any a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So this is when it truly gets serious. I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I am coming over, much like we've done in the past. Also, the trigger warning, if you're not okay with any of it, leave now. I will tell you that some of it may be upcoming very soon. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. 
It's always strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I fra finally find her. Siori? Hi, Enzo. I sit down in her room. Here we go. Fun. Yay, fun. Sayori fo forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it would be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you wanted to suddenly... How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? How did you even know that? Or uh, probably Monica told you. Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. <laughs> That's no good, Enzo. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't go so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have ever been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Enzo. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. 
I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just... You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Enzo? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? And that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siri kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Siri? Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed by as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Enzo. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> and that's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then, I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So, that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. Then I don't really... That I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting. And that's what I'll do. No, Enzo. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But... I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. Alright. I made you join the letter 
literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now, you came here and I made you hurt, too. I'm just weak and selfish. And that's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, and so, Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Enzo. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this, Enzo. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if, if what I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have it have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Siori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, and so. The only time when I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like me to spend it all with you? Uh, um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No. Don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I would... not then I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Deary to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. S to my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. 
but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri's about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri's already there. Yuri? Ah, uh, thank goodness. You are a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have re reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least, I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Dang, that's a pretty nice room, MC. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. I... Uh, no. I would really be embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm? Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. Uh, that would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both hands firmly in her lap and makes sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enchantment. Enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know. Mood lighting. Aromatherapy candles? Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although, many will stop by just out of curiosity. 
and for cupcakes, I guess. That's probably true. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh... Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that... a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel... relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What? What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Actually, I know a little bit about aromatherapy. This is gonna be rough. Yuri's voice is usually the one that kills me the most, so... We have a huge block of text, probably, from her. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you use, you choose, you can change the mood of fear itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole in the top. Wow. That smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable, but you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently. Clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well... Did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using... The paper for folding origami. 
What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Hello, how are you today? Are you here for cringy voice work? Cause that's what's gonna be happening. You also missed probably like one of the most intense parts so far. That's fine. You don't know. What will those be used for? Take a drink of water again. Again, I'm sorry if I I take quite a few short pauses to drink water. Again, Yuri's voice doing Yuri's voice usually just kills me, so Well, I'm going to cut pieces of the ribbon to hang them from the doorway of the classroom. Then, we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing the room. It... I don't know what happened there. It may attract some to peek inside. Oh, from the server? When did that happen? Because I feel like that was a long time ago, wasn't it? It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. Oh, in a different stream. All right. I say that because that happened in a server I used to moderate on. Someone put their keyboard into Russian mode and one of the other moderators or one of the owners banned them. I don't know who it was, but That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yeti. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. I'm not gonna try that sound effect. Some I can do, but I don't even know how to start doing that. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Enzo. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. How long am I? I'm gonna stream until I finish the current day that I'm on here. Which I don't know when that'll be. But that's when I'll end, like, stop streaming. So when, day, when the day ends, whenever that is, I would imagine it'll be quite a while. We've. We just got into the day, really. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Sounds like me in real life. Game day. Game day. When the game day is finished.
Yuri unravels the long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Jesus. That god, they're quick. Why not just scissors? Why a pocket knife? Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. And that's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and the feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. I mean, I collect playing cards. I don't like decks of cards. I don't think many people collect that, or not that I know of, so... What's wrong with knives? I know a friend that collects knives. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting to be thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. That's a weird thing to say more than I have a knife collection. Saying your knife collection suits you. I want to hear the explanation for this. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri Lack relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands the knife with the handle facing me. Hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Je Jesus, how many motorcycles are gonna pass? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger, and I cut my finger open. Ow. Enzo. Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. Small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri gives, takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. Sounds like vampire. Uh, I- that was so predictable, though, that that would happen. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. That's just a weird thing to note. 
I startled and instinctively pull my hand back. Uh, um, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it was a little weird, and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help. Right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head up. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think whoever created this like little line here was smoking something Jesus and so did you really just do that now we're even <laughs> wow Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would have been extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Enzo. Yuri giggles, shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, I don't think I need one actually. It was a tiny cut. Well, it could already stop bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as the door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you re- Are- Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking your his advice I use I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full sized glasses. I put them on a plate to carry and to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yeti? Yes. 
I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here, or anything? Uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me, and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So... I thought we'd... I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, we'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you gonna write? Well... It will be a little more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as the color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we held we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me... I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading. It doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yeri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. Sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. 
Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just... For a little longer. It feels really nice. Ah. I kept my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. She looks dead inside, Jesus. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is this the aroma of jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers, wrapped, about, wrapped around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over, as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier than she's like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I... I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. that should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty and natural looking. It's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well... Perhaps it would be best to leave it here. Then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before the event... Our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. Hello. How are you doing today? I, I hope I didn't, like, just ignore that for, like, five minutes or something. But hello. How are you today? In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say it like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Alright, that's a good thing. <laughs> ah, no. It's not that. Uh, he him. Yeah. Just he him. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? 
I was secretly hoping that we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we've got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all our things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out to the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring up bring tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna put the TW in chat real quick, though, uh, stream's probably ending soon. I think it's coming near the end of the end day game, so stream will probably be ending soon. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess... I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want. You can come you can come on you can come over. Or we can go out somewhere. I know I know. I, I'm very I'm very shallow into it. I I assume by saying that you know. I I'm assuming that you have seen like someone play it before you've played it yourself then. You've played it? Okay. Yeah, we're like just past the Sayori part, so... Ah, I forget you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Enzo. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. <laughs> Quiet music and very close all of a sudden. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get the chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori? Eh? Uh... Hi, Enzo. Sorry. Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Enzo. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um... Well... It's nice to see you. I didn't... Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. 
but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Y yeah so... I'll see you tomorrow. Query emb clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori... I thought you didn't want to come over today. <sighs> well... I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come over here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know... How much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me... Really happy. That you've made such good friends. And that's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? And so, I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Enzo. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being so selfish. Monica was right. I should just- wait, what? I mean... I've seen some of this, so... I've, I've seen the game before. This is my first playthrough, though. I remember some of this part, though, so... All I can say about this part right now is that at least Yuri's doing Yuri's voice isn't going to be killing me right now, so... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I won't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. B but... Sari looks away. I put her hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Enzo. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... Oh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you for the follow, Senesins. That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Enzo. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. Alright. Alright. I'll remember that. That's how I feel. And... And... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. I can't. I'm sorry, I know what they want. 
I know what I'm supposed to say. But no, it's not true. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, Seori. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel awful now. I feel terrible now. Um, I'm the worst at this moment. You'll always be my dearest friend. Oh, God. No. What you need the most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told you, told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But, please, trust me that I know what's best, and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll, I promise I'll help things get back to the way they were. The sound design in this game is really good. I... I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. That is definitely true. That is definitely very true. <laughs> is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Seori, it's okay. This is just my punishment. Remember, for being so selfish, so please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I, I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know what you mean better than anyone else, Enzo. I don't trust you with anything. Anything at all. So. Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. I'm not going to do that sound effect. No way in hell. Clutching her head with both her hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Siri looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori. I am left helplessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Siri will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put, on a, put a smile on her face every day. Alright, saving. As usual, and as I said uh, at the end of the day, I would be done. So uh, I, I think that's it for now. I need to recover my voice before work, and I need to do some stuff before work as well. I still have a little bit of time, but only like 30 minutes before I need to get ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you had as good a time as I did. 
as always, my YouTube and my YouTube link and Discord link are down below. My stream schedule for this upcoming week, Monday through Sunday, is on my Discord, and it but it is subject to change. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great time. But, as always, I shall see you whenever next time is. Peace.